Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at the Toys R Us exclusive Star Wars Black Series 2-pack of Admiral Akbar and the First Order Officer. This is a neat 2-pack and all, but the figure I'm really excited about in this is Admiral Akbar. So let's just dive right on in and talk about how great this figure is. The uh, surface of the fabric of his clothes, like the tunic and the pants have a nice surface. The sculpt on the boots is good, but I like the wrinkling of the pants. I like the wrinkling of his top, and I just like the way it's cut. I like the seams, the way the, the fabric has been sculpted. It looks really good. Uh, the paint on his little blue chest thing there is really really cleanly painted so that's nice but where this figure really rocks is his skin surface not the fabric uh it, it'd be one thing to have like a human arm that's just like some, some smooth plastic but some extra work had to go into the design of these arms really really good sculpting they really stepped it up the fingers look great even like his thick thumb here for like his little grip hand really awesome stuff and the paint the orange paint kind of over the red surface and like the shading of like lighter orange. It all looks really, really good. Speaking of really, really good, this head is outstanding. Uh, it could have just been like a sculpted standard head like this and I would have been fine with it, but the head actually articulates so you get the open mouth effect and that's great. But also once it's open, you can kind of wiggle this up and down. It's not locked down. So the fact that the top articulates, but you can also move the bottom Really, really awesome. The sculpt is great. I like the orange paint, the red dotting, but also the red shading for where you go around the eyes to the rest of the head. The sculpt of the mouth, the sculpt of his nose area, and the paint on his eyeballs are all excellent. This figure looks great. And he comes with this blaster and uh, that swell. Now, uh, we also have this First Order officer figure, and uh, that's what he looks like. All right, there you go. Thanks for watching, everybody. Nah, I was just kidding. Uh, this figure is a standard kind of uh, basic officer outfit, and uh, they did a great job with the details of the First Order officer outfit. Um, the little uh, cylinders look good on the chest there. Uh, the, again, the seams, like the quote-unquote tailoring of it, the way the fabric bunches at the belt and flares out looks good. The 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 uh, pants that are all fluffy, the shine of the boots, all looks really, really good. Um, he's got like good gloved hands that read well. And then his head, as far as like standard guy goes, looks really good. I think they did a great job with the uh, officer's hat. The First Order logo looks really good. Um, nothing too interesting to speak of as far as his eyeballs and eyebrow and lip paint, but you can take his hat off and get his little you know, buzz cut hair going, and uh, it's pretty basic. Um, it's all I can really think of with this. It's still fun, especially if you have other villainous first order off, you know, first order characters having an officer with them will be a nice thing to add to your collection as far as like army building goes. He also comes with just the one item, this blaster here, which actually does have some nice silver paint in the middle of the gray and the, you know, the black holster there. So kudos to Hasbro for, for getting some details in there. Um, this gun fits into the holster and fits into uh, his hand, so I'll just go ahead and put it in the holster there now. Hey, there's an in-focus look at that. Now here they both are with their blasters ready to fudge some stuff up, and I love that the uh, blaster fits into Admiral Akbar's hand, like his weird unique hand, is still sculpted in a way that grips that blaster well. Uh, so that's great. Uh, and I may have talked some trash on how basic the first officer is, but they did a, a good job with the paint anyway. Like his eyebrows aren't just straight lines, they have little like edges to them, so that's nice, and the lip paint is pretty good. Um, I love this set, and I love having an action figure of Admiral Akbar. I only wish it was the Return of the Jedi version that they had released. Because um, that's the one we all fell in love with. But between The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi, I'm glad we got this version of him, The Last Jedi version. Because I was not a big fan of his weird little vest that he wore in The Force Awakens. This was a better outfit between the two movies. I'm glad we have it. I freaking love this head sculpt so much. Thanks for watching, everybody. And if you want, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook and all that stuff. Or don't.